Hi, I'm Tim Allen from Suburban Tool, America's Tool Makers. And we're here today to go over some of the features of the Heidenhain QuadraCheck 1202. Uh, this one happens to be mounted on our MV14 comparator. Um, but we're just going to run through the basic features and we'll also go over a couple of the additional more advanced technical stuff on here. Um, so we're going to start out, this is a simple two axis, it's got glass scales, X, Y, so you've got left and right and vertical. Um, you got some buttons across the bottom here, you've got point, line, circle, distance, angle, skew, and magic, and we'll get into those. So the first thing we're going to do, if you want to know where a point is on your part, you just put your crosshairs up there, hit the point, enter. You know, now that's, we, we know where that point is. If we want to measure a line, we go to the line feature. We're going to put the crosshairs on the line. To measure a line with this unit, you have to pick up at least two points. Three points is better, 50 is even better, but who wants to do that? So we're just gonna do three. We're gonna do one at the top, one at the bottom. And I also picked up one in the middle, and you hit finish. There, our line is uh, actually at 83 degrees. It's not quite vertical. The part is sitting in there a little skewed. And we're going to get to a function that will help us correct that issue later on. So there's our first line. Now, if we wanted to know the distance from that line that we just measured to this edge, for instance, on our part, we can come over to our edge here. We're going to take another line measurement pick up a couple lines along that edge, a couple points, I'm sorry. So now we have that line. Then all we do is we come over, we've got a distance feature here. We select distance. And we're going to recall, we're going to use those two lines that we already did. Recall, line one, enter. Recall, line two. We hit the finish button. And now we know the distance, 15.6 millimeters from our original line to this edge. And if we want to see what we just measured, if we go into view, it will actually tell us. Here's our first line that we measured, and here's our second line that we measured, and here's the distance across. So it's pretty simple to do this with, you know, just a few button selections. Now, if we want to do a circle, again, we're just going to select the circle feature. It comes up here, it says points. On a diameter, you have to select a minimum of three points. You can select, again, you can select up to 50, but a minimum of three. So we'll pick one here, and it towards the center of this, we'll put the crosshairs on there, enter. Enter. So we picked our three points, we hit finish. There's our X center, there's our Y center, and there's our diameter. Now, when you measure something, this unit has a little button here that says view. And that will actually show you the points that I selected in relation to the best fit. 
Now what that means is that when you select those points, they may not necessarily all be directly on the diameter that you're trying to measure. So when you look here, now these three points happen to be pretty good on the circle that we measured. But if you get one that displays way out here in space, that's either going to mean that you selected a bad point, or maybe your circle that you're measuring isn't round. So it gives you a little bit of a heads up that you need to go back and either remeasure that or, you know, take a look at the hole. Maybe there's a problem. So we got point, we've done point, line, circle, distance. The other function here we have is angle. So let's measure an angle. Let's say we want to know the angle between this long slot and this vertical slot. Well, come up here towards the top of that. We'll just work our way down. We're going to hit angle. We got to pick up some points on our first line here. Now we hit finish because we got three points on that line. Now we're going to move to the second line. And again, we hit finish. Oops, one too many button pushes there, folks. Sorry. So this is the theoretical intersection of those two lines relative to our zero point. And it's 149 degrees, 56 minutes between the two lines. So that's the simple angle measurement. Remember when I started out and we measured that first line and it measured like 89 degrees and change. This unit has a feature called skew. If you're doing some really critical measurements, you can touch here, put it in skew, then you come over and you take a horizontal line and you pick some points on that line that you know are horizontal. Because as we go across here, you can see that our part is actually dropping a little bit below our crosshair. So by setting the skew, it now will, every measurement that you take, it automatically compensates for the fact that we're not quite horizontal. So, you know, that's a really handy feature if you're going to take a lot of measurements on a single part and they're really critical. You need to, the first thing you need to do is set the skew of your part because if you don't, some of your measurements are going to require more interaction between you and the DRO than it's really necessary. Another little feature that this unit has here is called magic. The magic key, rather than having to select circle or angle or whatever, if you touch magic and then you start to pick points, it'll automatically say, oh, they want to measure a circle or oh, they want to measure an angle. So sometimes that, you know, if you're going to take a lot of measurements that are all different kinds of features, sometimes that can be a really convenient little thing to have. You can also on this unit we can switch between inch and metric. It's a single button push. Um, if we had it connected to a printer, we press this button here. It'll output the measurements that we've just taken directly to a printer. You know you've got an adjustment here for the brightness of the display. If you're in an area that is a little too bright or a little too dark, you can adjust your uh, contrast.
So that's our quick little run through of the basic features of the Heidenhain QuadraCheck. This is a 1202. This is just a two axis. There's a 1203, which is a three axis. And there's also uh, an edge detection version available. Again, Tim Allen Suburban Tool. This has been a quick run through on the Heidenhain QuadraCheck 1202. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us here at Suburban Tool or look us up on the web at subtool.com. Tim Allen out.